Hello guys, how are you? This is Joe or Kaya again. Uh, I'm on a job right now and I, just, I was just thinking because I'm going to a uh, hotel and uh, I'm going to do a, a uh, bed bug inspection and I just want to give you a tips on uh, how to detect if there's bed bug in a hotel. So hotel is a very prone in uh, a bed bug infestation and uh, even if you don't see uh, any signs on the surface and even if the hotel is very clean or a motel is very clean it that bed bug it doesn't care uh, well doesn't mean that there's no bed bug so bed bug feeds on uh, our blood, human blood or animal blood. Uh, bed bug usually uh, they are. So, some people ask where where are the bed bugs came from. So bed bug uh, came from bats because uh, ba bat bat uh, bugs are very very similar to bed bugs. So. The so most that that's the most common problem in, in a hotel. So once you uh, get a specimen of uh, bed bugs that uh, hitchhike in your bags, in your clothes, in your luggage, and then you bring it uh, bring it in your home, and that's the start of. Uh, bed bug infestations so well even you know uh, even if uh, you get uh, you know the eggs of the bed bugs and then it hatches in your in your home and yeah <laughs> that's the start and sometimes you get bed bugs from lacquers in a sports com com complex and well, yeah, uh, the uh, cross contamination of bed bugs in a lockers, you know, uh, if there a there are people that has bed bugs on their house, and they bring their backpacks and put it inside the lockers, and yeah, that's how also. Uh, you know uh, how you get the bed bugs there are so many questions that every time I go uh, I do inspection or I do a bed bug treatment in a uh, residentials the common questions they ask is where is the bed bugs uh, came from how do we get the bed bugs so yeah so if if you're a traveler and uh, you uh, check in a lot in a hotel in a uh, motel so yeah all right let's go Make sure there's no one here. 
Okay, all right. This will be our first uh, hotel room to check if there's bed bug. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, so uh, first, uh, let's remove the pillows. Remove the pillows. So we have removed our pillows, removed the blankets. So if you just check in in a hotel, so everything is in place, but this one is uh, uh, already used and somebody who already checked out. But uh, so I already checked the, which is really they, they wash this uh, bed sheets, blankets. Uh, because if you do, if we, Every time we do an ins inspection or treatment, we, of course, uh, they're gonna get uh, replace the mattress covers, the pillowcase. So this one is uh, clear, and I remove the covers. This one, I remove this. So, if your bed, uh, if your bed has uh, covers or what do you call this uh, mattress case, we call this mattress case, the white one. So it's it's easy to look for bed bugs if you have the uh, white uh, mattress cover here because you can easily spotted if uh, the bed bugs already feeding on bloods and you can see black spots so those are signs of bed bugs and so let's move the covers so I'll already check this one and just give me a second I'm holding cell phones give you a good view so this is uh, sealed so it means the uh, mattress is sealed and it's protected so you can easily uh see the bed bug here so oh, okay Where's my last light? so just use you can just use the regular flashlight or and check all the uh hiding spots like zipper uh, they like hiding here in the zipper so check this, you can check here. Yeah. So you can go around the bed. Yeah. Alright, so we were gonna flip flip the mattress. So this is a king size. This is heavy. It takes a while to do inspection, so I spend more time doing inspection. Uh, so okay, uh, I'll show you. So you're gonna check under the mattress. The edges you can easily see the bed bugs and white covers 
compared to the darker colors so that's why most of the hotels used to white is it has a purples so that you can easily it's the most common problem in a hotel hotels are bugs bed bugs so that's why uh the pest control specialist suggests to use a white uh mattress cover so even if you in your house you can use uh you can buy a white mattress cover so it's easily to detect bugs or bed bugs uh especially if you have history of uh, bed bugs infestation in your house and you can use this uh, white mattress cover and yeah when you're in a hotel that's the first thing you're gonna do inspect the mattress so the second one is see this uh so it's not it's, like it's just dirt so you, and then the uh, box spring what you, you're gonna look is under under the box spring sheets so yeah so i don't want i don't need to worry about uh this uh cover because this go to the laundry right away but if you're just uh checking in and you need to check this yeah well uh me as a pest control technician if uh me and my family go in a hotel even when uh when uh, we went to the Philippines, I always inspect the bed. So let's go to the laundry. So look at their back spring here. So it's covered, it's sealed. So if somebody gonna bring bed bugs here and they're gonna hang out on the mattress and uh, it's uh, the uh, as the inspect, uh, we inspect it, we can e easily uh, saw or see the bed bugs. So, all right. And then, yeah, if you do it by yourself, it's uh, it's a big job. But I'm gonna look under here, so you see the the frames. This frame is made of metal, but uh, but the one that's uh, made of uh, wood, that's uh, bed bugs' favorite hangout. So you're gonna look at here the zipper. So that's where that's their favorite hangout if there's bed bug. So uh, underneath here. Okay. So yeah. Uh, these hotels they're already using the metal frames it's, uh, well it's my recommendation before to use a metal uh, frames compared to the wood frames so bed bug uh, really like wood so yeah so we use a bright very bright light flashlight okay this one is good I'm not seeing any activities here so this is where you're gonna look for bugs yeah there's the favorite or you can move this frame i'm gonna move this frame later it's just hard for me to hold the camera and a flashlight but we check check the at the base at the bottom of the this one at the bottom of the bed frame so i'm gonna move that and check if there's bugs or signs or anything so 
Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I already checked this one and I just show you where to look the bed bugs because they like dark areas and that's where they breed underneath. So this uh this uh bed uh box the box spring and bed frame is clear all right and one more tips to make things easy uh what you're gonna look for is uh bed bug monitoring the uh board so i'll show you okay i don't know what other company do uh for hotel inspection for bed bugs but uh what we do or me uh all the room that i have inspected is i place this under the uh, bed frame so this one doesn't have any uh monitoring uh board or yeah monitoring board for bed bugs because the frame the bed frame is uh, new so i'm gonna put this so when you are uh, checking in in a hotel you can what you can do is look for any glue boards or monitoring device that's that is under the bed so i'm gonna place this under the bed so that next time uh, it's easy for me to do inspection because the bed bugs will gonna crawl under underneath here so these spots are stick sticky and they go underneath here so that's where the bed bug goes because they like uh yeah they like crawling on the uh under the bed and they gonna stick in there and i'm gonna look for that so yeah and you can easily see it the bed bugs here if there's bed bugs so so this is clean so i'm gonna peel this off um i'll try to uh look at the amazon if they have uh, this uh, monitoring board in amazon and i'm going to uh place a link underneath uh when i post this video okay all right so i'm gonna place this under the under the bed frame okay so this monitoring board will go to here so uh that where it goes so the bed bugs will stick there if somebody gonna bring bed bugs here okay so that's what you're gonna look for when you're checking in in a hotel so that can be under the bed or behind the headboard so i'll show you how to pull out this headboard but some hotels has heavy heavy headboard yeah and also because this is uh part of uh beside the bed this night table here bed bugs like to hang out here so that's what you're gonna look and open the drawer and you will see under there underneath there so that you see this is the drawer and that's the back of the drawer so i'll give you a good view so so this is the drawer, the drawer, 
see when I uh, push a drawer that's that will go there so that's where they like to hold so when I, when I pull the drawer this is how it looks like and at the back of the drawer that's where the bed box loves to hang out because it's beside the table so that one is clear and yeah so if you see there's one night table here and there's another night table the other side most likely the bed bugs like to hang out is the old night table that's on the corner there so the bed bugs chooses to ha to hide behind that uh, night table there behind the night table there compared to the night table that's exposed into the windows so they like uh, dark areas so that's the best uh, night ta table to check okay so I'm gonna check this uh, uh, headboard and yeah so I'm gonna place a monitoring board underneath there behind uh, behind the behind the night tables I'm gonna put one there and I'm gonna put behind the uh, headboard so yeah I put three I'm gonna put three uh, monitoring board to monitor bed bugs all right Okay, I'm done uh, doing the inspection for the because I don't have enough memory for my phone so I'll just to uh, show you what needs to be in the inspect so the two night table here it's done so I check uh, behind already behind of this uh, night table underneath behind the uh, uh, headboard and everything and behind the frames that need to be uh, a look at so uh, bed bugs like also uh, uh, hanging out or hiding at the back of the f uh, picture frames so once all that clear so this one is clear and next one is uh, you need to check the sofa uh, I'm just gonna remove the so this is a bed sofa this is so if uh, the sofa is, uh, has uh, colors or so this is a uh, sofa bed so remove this all right uh, yeah it's, what you're gonna do is just uh, uh, flip this is so this one is heavy or just pull bed out and you can check the see the wood underneath there see the, uh, the wood underneath there there so that corner there is made of wood underneath so that's the favorite hangout of the of bed bugs underneath all the people going there so yeah already already inspected so i just want to show you it again and yeah this is sofa bed this is uh, one of their favorite hangout but uh, most of the the uh, bed bugs like to hang out where most uh, people love to hang out so 
yeah that's the tips and please subscribe to my channel and i'll give you more tips on other stuff so this is a canadian experience uh youtube channel so i'm just sharing all the experience that i have here uh, things that i observe in canada and i have a uh, help helpful uh, tips how to uh, for uh, citizenship or canadian citizenship practice test so if you have uh, other questions on uh, pest control or other stuff that's in canada that i tackle here you can just leave a comment Right, so this is the second uh, uh, hotel room that I'm going to expect. So it's the same process, remove remove all the cover sheets, and yeah. I, so to all the uh, hotel owners, I highly recommend uh, to hire a pest control uh, company to do a regular inspection, at least uh, three bedrooms uh, uh, per month so that will uh, really help a lot especially to those uh suites or uh hotel room that has uh that has a history of uh, bed bug uh bed bug activity so yeah uh it protect your uh if you're an owner or of a hotel or a manager who manage a hotel it's i highly really I uh, highly recommend uh, do a regular inspection for bed bugs because uh, this will cover your reputations like uh, because we give a report to every time you come here so you have uh, at least you have a paper trail or paper record that there uh, there's a uh, inspection done and it was inspected so it will give you uh, good reputations and especially if uh, somebody's uh, complaining for bed bugs of here if there's there are some clients no uh, well uh, I can't tell because uh, there are only one percent or point zero one percent use as bed bugs as an excuse uh, in order not to pay their you know uh, rent we call that rent so yeah it's i highly recommend to all the hotel owners to have a bed bug regular bed bug inspections beside of other pest control like mice okay so thank you guys please sub subscribe to my channel i still have lots of work to do to do it's you to inspect of these two beds here same process as what i did in a in the first uh, room so okay all clear yeah I'm done doing the inspection of three rooms at uh, one of the hotel in downtown in Calgary so yeah I highly re recommend uh, when you go to or check in into the hotel make sure ask the ask the uh, counter or the uh, front desk if uh, uh, they have a, uh, doing a, regular inspection for bed bug or you can do it by yourself uh, it's easy to know if the hotel has a regular bed bug inspection because when you uh, lift up uh, lift up the uh, uh, mattress in the back spring there is a uh, monitoring board inside or underneath the bed so that's the first thing you're gonna look at so if there's no 
if there's no uh, monitoring board or mon any monitoring device under the bed uh, maybe the company or a technician did not put a monitoring board there even if they did uh, ins uh, do the inspection so if you are a hotel owner or a manager of the hotel make sure uh, ask your technicians or company provider to place a monitoring board every time they do an ins inspection so it's my recommendation because uh, our company me I me as a technician as a licensed pest control I always put a monitoring board in all even in, in residential I always put a monitoring board after the inspection or uh after the final treatment uh for the bed bugs that i uh, i do so yeah thank you and have a good day